In this video, I want to talk all about living here in beautiful Santa Barbara. I want to talk about the pros, I want to talk about the cons, the ins and outs, the do's, the do nots, the benefits, the things we sacrifice. If you're thinking about moving to Santa Barbara, this video might be of use to you. And as always, I'm here, I'm a local realtor, and me and my team are here to help answer any specific questions you have. So without further ado, let's talk about the pros and cons of living in Santa Barbara. We're gonna start off with the cons of living in Santa Barbara, and the number one con, the number one complaint, the number one constraint for why a lot of people can't live here oftentimes is the cost of living, and especially the cost of real estate. Here in Santa Barbara, the cost of a house is oftentimes five times more than the national average. The average sales price for a single family home in Santa Barbara proper is oftentimes north of 1.5. An average condo is oftentimes north of a million. It's definitely expensive to live here. We're positioned right between the ocean and the mountains. There's not a lot of new construction and there's a huge demand from very affluent people all around the world, all around California, who want to buy here, who want to buy a second home here and have a spot to vacation. And that really drives our real estate prices very north and it can be very costly to live here. You know, gas in California is more expensive than other states. Cost of going out and having a drink is more expensive than maybe other areas of the United States, but it's pretty on par with other spots in California. But a huge differentiator for Santa Barbara compared to other areas in California even is the low inventory of homes for sale and for rent and the high cost when it comes to buying or even renting a house. Con number two, this doesn't apply to everybody, but a lot of people like seasonality. They want to have, you know, the leaves all change colors and go from warm weather to kind of cool and crispy and maybe even snow. Santa Barbara has very mild seasons. We have winters where maybe sometimes it cracks into the 40s at night, but most of the time year round, the weather is very consistent. And for those people that love seasonality, that want a really vibrant spring that comes out of a very dead winter, Santa Barbara might not be the town for you. It's super consistent weather. We don't get snow. Obviously you can drive up to Mammoth, to Big Bear, to Tahoe if you want to go snowboarding, but we don't have the seasonality here that a lot of other places have around the United States and beyond. Another con that relates to weather is the often extreme weather events that we can experience here in Santa Barbara. There have been big fires in the past. Obviously we had a mudslide about five years ago, which was very destructive. We've had some heavy rains just even in these last three or four weeks. And the extreme weather can be very scary for some people. Um, you know, it's always important to have good insurance on your rental or whether you buy a house to understand the insurance risks because California, depending on the seasonality, depending on how much rain we've had, there's higher risk for fires. Obviously we have the ocean on the other side and there hasn't been any major earthquakes or tsunamis for many, many years, but it's important to understand the potential risk for natural disasters, which can be more extreme than some other places you could live. Okay, another con is the taxes. In California, we have a higher income tax as a state tax than a lot of other states. Some people have decided to move to Nevada, Arizona, Florida, which don't have that state income tax. Also, when it comes to property tax here in Santa Barbara, property tax is about 1.1% of the purchase price. And because the purchase price is often pretty big, that means your annual property tax can be pretty sizable. You know, if you buy a million dollar house, that's about, you know, 11,000 plus in just property taxes every year. So definitely something to consider before moving to Santa Barbara is the tax implications. Con number five of six is the job market here. The job market here is way less robust than a place like San Francisco, LA, New York City. There's just less options. Even though we do have a handful of major companies and even tech companies that have created a hub here, there's a lot of demand. You know, UCSB is right here and they're graduating a lot of great students every year. There's a lot of demand and not quite enough supply to go around. A lot of people really want to stay here in Santa Barbara and working remote has helped a lot of people been able to move here, but the job market isn't quite the same as those major city areas that have a lot more big companies to offer more employment um, compared to Santa Barbara, which is a town of about 90,000 people just less opportunity compared to the cities when it comes to jobs. Okay, the final con, wrapping up the con list, is we have less entertainment options than the cities as well. We have some really cool venues and sometimes we have great big artists that come to the Santa Barbara Bowl, but compared to like LA or compared to area that has professional sports teams, we don't have quite the same options. We don't have any major sports teams in Santa Barbara. Um, UCSB has basketball and soccer, which is really fun to watch, lacrosse even, of course but we don't have any pro teams. We get less major 
A-list concert options than LA for sure. And that's always the option is if you live, live here, a lot of people will decide to drive an hour and a half, two hours down to LA when they wanna see a sports game or see a concert that they're really looking forward to. But we don't have that here in Santa Barbara quite as much. Okay, so that's wrapping up the con side. I wanna shift over to all the pros that Santa Barbara has to offer, well, all the reasons I love living here. And I wanna give you six of my top pros. Let's start off with number one. The weather here is incredible. We have like 70 something degree weather and sunshine. I feel like 90% of the days it feels like. It's so nice for someone that loves to get sun, wants to be outside, likes to be at the beach, wants to just get fresh air all the time. We can be outside so many more days than other places in the country, which oftentimes have to lock up and shelter up during the winter time. If you love consistent, warm weather with nice sunshine that's not too bright and not too aggressive, Santa Barbara is a great climate. Con number two, but I would say it's like a tie for one of my favorite reasons of living in Santa Barbara is the community here. Santa Barbara is a very unique community and the people that really wanna be here, they really wanna be here for a reason. We have so much talent, so many amazing entrepreneurs, amazing creatives. The Santa Barbara community is small, but I've met so many people from all walks of life that all just love being here and kind of share that general community sense. The community takes great care of Santa Barbara. Everyone's super nice when you're out hiking. People are smiling and saying hi and letting you pet their dogs. And the community here is very tight-knit. We're always here to help each other out when things are tough. And there's just a big sense of friendliness to your neighbors and we're all kind of here sharing this beautiful bubble together and I've just noticed it more than definitely major cities and other areas around the nation that people are tight-knit here kind able to offer a lending hand when needed and that's one of my favorite things about living in Santa Barbara okay pro number three I love this one and it's the fact that we have very little traffic sometimes getting home from a Goleta area going down on the 101 south can take 20 minutes instead of 10. But when you look at other areas of California, especially LA, especially San Francisco, um, New York or something else like that, we don't have traffic and congestion. And it's so nice to be able to zip around town. Oftentimes you can walk and bike even and just know that you're not gonna be stuck up in crazy traffic. You're not gonna be delayed an hour because the freeways are so jam packed. It's so nice to have a little bit less people here because we're able to just zip around and get wherever we need to be in a timely manner. That's a huge pro for me, for sure. Pro number four of six is the amazing natural beauty we have here in Santa Barbara. Like I said, we're right tucked in between the mountain range and fantastic beaches. You can go for a hike and then go for a surf right after. We have so much cool nature to explore. We have beautiful parks all throughout Goleta, scattered into downtown. We have fantastic nature preserves. There's beautiful gardens with very unique types of trees and flowers, both in Santa Barbara and in Montecito. People here really respect and enjoy the nature. For those of you who are nature lovers who love to camp, surf, hike, backpack, Santa Barbara's a real mecca. We have Big Sur really close to the north. You can go into the Los Padres National Forest. You can obviously go check out the whole coastline of beaches where you can camp, you can RV. For those of you who are huge nature lovers and that's really important to your lifestyle, Santa Barbara is a really good fit. Okay, pro number five, we have fantastic schools here in Santa Barbara and that's all the way from the elementary level through colleges. For being a smaller town, our schools are really on a upper echelon level. We have great public schools, a handful of fantastic private school options, three great public high schools, and then obviously UCSB and even the Santa Barbara City College, which is the number one city college ranked in all of America. UCSB is ranked number three, I believe, in all of the UC system, just behind UC Berkeley and UCLA. And I mean, when you think about how small our town is to have these amazing education options, whether you're coming here for college, whether you're coming here because you really want your kids to have a great education, that's a huge thing to consider is all the, not just expensive private options we have, but the fantastic free public institutions that we have here in Santa Barbara. Okay guys, wrapping up the pros list, one of my personal favorites is the Santa Barbara Airport. I was born and raised in Boulder, Colorado, and it's so prime for me to be able to just jump on a plane, be in Denver in two and a half hours, rather than having to go through LA or another major airport. And while the Santa Barbara Airport can be a little bit more expensive, for those of you who travel a lot and really enjoy convenience, it's really nice to have an airport that can connect you to major areas, that can connect you to even international flights, instead of just having to drive you know, the two hours or so to LAX and battle through that traffic. Two hours on a good day. 
but having this small airport, which oftentimes you can get to like 30 minutes before your flight boards, is such a game changer for those of us who love to travel. Um, because a lot of cities that are our size do not have that airport option and it really allows us to have quick and easy access to travels nearby or far away and that's a huge pro of living in Santa Barbara for sure in my opinion. So there you have it, my updated pros and cons list for living in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. I've made videos on this on the past and if you want to check out a lot more content related to Santa Barbara, Goleta and beyond, feel free to check out my channel. I so appreciate you sharing, liking and subscribing as always. Thanks guys for taking the time and I'll see you on the next one. I'll be out.